Well, what was that final tell us about the golf between the two? I mean, Rangers, before the kickoff, were not far away for Celtic. And I still believe the squad they've got, they shouldn't be that far away for Celtic. But is that a squad needing major surgery this this summer? I mean, I, I can't, was it Willie Miller said at the weekend they're 20% off Celtic or something? They need, they need to make 10 signings in the summer. I, I don't want to attribute that to Willie Miller, but somebody said that they need to make 10 signings and eight of them have to be good signings. I, I wouldn't, I don't know if they need as many as that. Um, but what they need is whoever comes in has to be better than what's there before, and too often. Uh, Rangers have made re- signings that haven't tested the, the start of eleven. And, as I say, you only need, to, as you say, mention that the fact that you've still got a team that was largely still here in twenty nineteen uh, to prove that for us. So, you know, I mean, I, I look at this team. You look at what's going to be, be required in the summer. You're probably looking at c- certainly a goalkeeper. Um, you're probably looking at maybe another midfielder, a right winger, a striker, and then. That's before if Morelos and Kent go, and then you may be looking at an striker and a left winger. There's a lot of work to be done. Far off then, then, eh? and, and and Rangers really can't afford to have the kind of you know wastage that they've had. You know, you look at you know the, the seven that have come in uh, last summer. Okay, Cholak started off well, but he's never really been trusted to to, to play in the big games. Uh, you know, say Ben Davies has, has looked okay. Yuma's, uh, Tom Lawrence, Suter, you know, three of them have been injured for large spells of the season, so you've not really had a a, a proper look at them. There's not been much value from from the money they've, they've had to put out, pay out to get them in. And then Rabbi Matondo, who's uh, just seems to be a mile out of the picture, and again coming in for a lot of money. So Rangers cannot afford to to you know have signings that don't come in and work to that extent. I mean. It's been quite remarkable the way that Celtic have operated in the transfer market this last sort of eighteen months. There hasn't been all. I mean, I, I, I haven't checked the figures recently, but let's say there's fifteen or sixteen players they brought in. In terms of guys that you would call outright flops, I mean, there's there's there's, there's not many. Um, guys, a couple of guys haven't worked out. You know, the good gone already. Yeah. Um. You know. Um. James McCarthy. I mean, that's about it. I mean, and even then, you wouldn't. You know. You wouldn't even have the chance to say that there were flops because they just haven't had a, a chance to play because other guys have been so good. So that's the kind of benchmark that Rangers are now having to operate. And the fear will be that Celtic, having a strengthened so well during the Ange Postecoglou's time here, are going to do it again in the summer and go further ahead. So you know this is what Rangers are constantly having to battle against, and they really must know that this is a summer come at a huge window where they cannot afford to make poor choices and and when it comes to recruitment the contra- the contrast to the two strikers are the perfect example of that i mean you look at what kyogo was given celtic i mean he's two cup finals now and scored two in both of them he won the, the trophy but Ellis is still searching for that i mean how how long has he been here now i know he's the club's record european goal scorer we know he's had a couple of seasons where he played really well, particularly in Europe. But the difference in those two strikers with how these teams want to play, uh, as I say, look at what Kyogo's given Celtic off the ball as well as on it. I think it's night and day. And to be honest, Fraser, I think Michael Beal knows that. I've said on here so many times now, as Andy will testify, I don't think Beal is particularly happy with Morelos as his number one striker. But it's his only option because... <laughs> Because unfortunately, Cholak is even less mobile than than uh, than Morelos in terms of pressing high, running channels, closing opponents down. Cholak's a, a box penalty box striker. Yeah, give him, give him chances and he'll score. He's not the type. He's not the guy that Michael Beale's going to want to play centre forward. G- given the choice of all the Rangers strikers, and I've said this before as well, Beale would want Kamar Roof as his number nine to play the way he wants to play. Um, but injury has prevented him from doing that. I mean, there's Roof couldn't even make the bench again on Sunday, despite everyone thinking he might actually have a part to play in the in the final. So from that point of view, I, I feel for Bill slightly, you know, the hands kind of tied behind his back a bit. And that's where I think there will be major changes. Andy says, I agree, they're going to improve in all the positions, but, but the centre-forward is going to be huge. Um 
I think Michael Bale's actually saying he's already got a centre forward in mind, you yeah. know, lined up mm-hmm. for the summer. I mean, that's how desperate he is to get somebody to get somebody in. And you no, know, I've said before, I think Morelos, his time, despite the goal on Sunday, I think his time is up. Rangers need to move on. It's going to be a different style of play. They need somebody different up there. Bill's no daft. He knows that. Plans will already be in place. Um but I think just in terms of, uh, listen, I'm not, I don't think there's a massive gulf in terms of, you no know, eleven, you no know, the best eleven v eleven, a one off, a one off game. But in terms of the kind of squad makeup, guys that are out of contract, stuff like that, there's a lot of uncertainty there. Bill touched on that after the game on Sunday. That has to get sorted out if Rangers are going to seriously put a challenge into Celtic. 